Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And if you saw the end of my previous video, which was the WWE Roblox review, I said I was going to go see 10 Cloverfield Lane, and uh, I did see it yesterday, so uh, this is going to be my review on 10 Cloverfield Lane. And the film stars Mary Elizabeth Winstead, uh, John Goodman, John Gallagher Jr. And, you know, I like the first Cloverfield film. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it's not great or perfect, though, but, you know, it's a fun, uh, cool monster film. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't like it because of the shaky cam aspects of the film. And a lot of people who saw it in theaters were getting very sick uh, from watching the film because of, you know, the shaky cam uh, throughout, throughout the film. Uh, but, you know, this, this film uh, does not have, you know, any shaky cam. And it. it's just, the film is just, just filmed, you know, regularly, you know, like I said, no shaky cam or nothing in this film. Uh, but, you know, I liked uh, this movie. I thought it was good. And uh, this film uh, was kept under wraps. And nobody even knew that this film was coming out. And nobody even knew that this film was being made. Uh, I remember, I remember there were talks about doing a sequel to Cloverfield you know, for a long time, and, uh, you know, but like I said, nobody even knew that this film was coming out or even filmed, and they released a trailer back in January, and they had the, uh, the Super Bowl spot, uh, like, I think, I think they released, they released it in January, so it was only, like, two months before, uh, this film, uh, came out, you know, this month, so, uh, but, you know, to me, uh, in my opinion, uh, this does not feel like a sequel to the first film at all because they don't, there's no mention or references to the first film uh, in this movie. Uh, but basically what the movie's about is it's about this woman named Michelle played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Sorry about that, but I was saying uh, uh, the movie's about this girl named Michelle played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead. And she got into a fight with her fiance Ben, and you know he's ended up leaving messages on her phone, uh, which is actually voiced by Bradley Cooper, uh, which is a surprise. And you know she's driving away, and while she's driving, she ends up getting into a car accident, and you know a car goes off the road, and then she wakes up and finds herself in a bunker with these two guys, Howard played by John Goodman. And Emmett, played by John Gallagher Jr., and you know she wants to get out of the bunker, but John Goodman's character doesn't want to, you know, let her go. And you know he says some of this crazy stuff, and you know his character is one of those like, you know, those doomsday preppers. Like, you know, you see, if you see the film, like he has all this food down there, and you know he mentions about a chemical attack that you know is making the air. Uh, unbreathable and unbearable and you know their only hope uh, all three of those characters their only hope is to stay down inside the bunker in order to survive and you know later on you get to see you know all the crazy stuff about John Goodman's character you know he ends up you know being the bad guy in the film and uh, pretty much that's basically the plot to the film but I thought it was a I thought this was a good movie. I liked it. Uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, uh, she did a good job in the film. And uh, I like Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Uh, ever since I saw Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, uh, she was uh, very cool in that movie. Uh, I also liked uh, her in this in the underrated uh, A&E show, which got canceled, uh, which was on last year, called The Return, uh, which uh, she was really... Uh, good in that. She was like the only best part of that of that show. Uh, it was the English. It was like the American version of the Return, which is based off the uh, the French version of uh, of the show of the same name. Uh, but yeah, so John Goodman's character uh, was really you know crazy and creepy. Uh, but you know they both did a good job in the film. But uh, like I said, 10 Cloverfield Lane, 
Uh, it's a good movie. Really liked it a lot. I think you all will like it if you liked, you know, Cloverfield first film. Uh, you know, even though there's no references or connections to the first film uh, in this film at all. And uh, I heard that they wanted to do a uh, the director who directed this film. He he's considering the idea of doing the direct sequel to this film, or you know, he wants to do another standalone Cloverfield movie. And I know I heard that they want to make uh, the Cloverfield uh, movies into an anthology, and uh, that could be cool. Uh, really would like to see what. Uh, they do next if they do do a sequel or you know a stand another standalone Cloverfield movie. So, but, uh, but I forgot to mention I did review uh, the first Cloverfield movie. So if you want to check out my review of it, uh, look back at my videos. I think I reviewed it in like 2011, I think. Uh, but you know, look back at my videos and uh, check out my review of the of the first Cloverfield film. So, but. Yeah, so Tank Cloverfield Lane, like I said, good movie. Uh, really enjoyed it and liked it. Uh, so, yeah, and I, I recommend it if you liked, you know, the first movie. So, and then uh, the whole, you probably are all going to like the uh, the twist in the end. So I'm not going to reveal uh, the twist, though. But, so, yeah. So, anyways, that's it for my review of Tank Cloverfield Lane. Uh, thank you all for watching. And until next video, I'll see you all later.